Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Hope you all having a good day. Let's see who's going to join us. Looks like my computer's thinking. Looks like it's working. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Can't tell if it's coming through or not. My computer's blinking. I'm going to check on my phone, make sure we're on here. Let's see what's going on today. Yep, I'm live. Yep, I got a comment. Hi, Lay. All right. Is it lay or lie? Hey, Susie. I always like to make sure I say people's names right. Yeah, my computer's not showing comments. I hate that because then I got to look at my phone too. Hey, Mr. Zimmer. All right, let's dig in. So, funny story. This is my body spray I'm using right now. Adaptive Elevation Whisper and Citrus Bloom. And... It matches my shirt. You know it's good when it's in a, what is this one? Probably a four ounce sprayer. You know it's a really good blend if it makes it to a four ounce spray bottle. So trying to guess how many drops are in here, a lot, because I like mine um, to smell strong because it's easy that way. One spray in the air of this, Heck, let me do it. I'll see if it'll show up on camera. Ah, you can see it. One spray, that's all I need. Like, I don't need to spray multiple times. I spray it in the air and I walk through it. And I can do this directly on my skin or um, into the air. Um, it is just topped with water. There's probably about 40 drops, Adaptive, Elevation, Whisper, and Citrus Bloom. Um, Make a note that this is the pure undiluted whisper version. Um, it's been changed to a touch roller. So if you use the touch roller, there will be some coconut oil in there, which is actually better for your skin if you're gonna spray it directly on your skin. This one I mostly spray um, in the air after I'm all ready. So it gets in my clothes, and I don't want coconut oil in my clothes. It gets in my clothes and in my hair and all that. So. This is um, definitely my most favorite uh, body spray because, again, it made it into the four ounce sprayer. And I'm gonna guess it's probably 40 drops of each. If you wanna get your hands on Citrus Bloom and you haven't gotten it yet, um, free with a BOGO or free with our promos or when we had a special Citrus Bloom launch, because you can't order Citrus Bloom individually um, on its own any other time yet. If you want Citrus Bloom to be a regular item, please email product support at doTERRA.com and request it. I request it like all the time. Um, you can get it as part of the Aroma Essentials collection. So see that little kit right there? It's got 10 awesome oils, a gorgeous diffuser, and it comes with Citrus Bloom. So if you want to get your hands on more, you can order that kit. And as an existing customer, the Citrus Bloom is actually free in there. Plus then you earn anywhere from $11 to $33 back when you order that in rewards if you already have your own account when you order in the LRP Loyalty Rewards cart. So if you're a new customer, snag that baby. And then five of the 10 oils are actually free for you. Your wholesale account is included. So that's called the Aroma Essentials Collection. So I'm going to talk about um, some of the recipes uh, that I want you to uh, know about. I just came out with a recipes page. And um, it's on my website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. But I'm going to share some recipes for you for free today. They're not ones that are on that handout, but let's get the wheels a turning and I want to hear from you how you like to use let's start with let's start with citrus bloom since we're talking about it and then we'll talk about cheer and then I want to hear how you use northern escape all right I want to hear how I don't have a ton of recipes for northern escape so I want to hear how you use it 
All right, so before we do that, um, saw a cool post on doTERRA's Facebook today about fractionated coconut oil tips and tricks, so I want to go through that. Um, we try to dilute, unless I'm making a spray for the air or to walk through and have my clothes, we add coconut oil to a lot of our um, recipes or a lot of my face recipes, I like to add jojoba oil, J-O-J-O-B-A. It doesn't clog the um, pores on your skin and um, it's great for your face. You can get that on um, Amazon. I can post a link for you when I'm done. All right, so use your coconut oil to dilute your oils, lessening um, the possibility for skin sensitivity. And it also helps you distribute the oils over a larger surface area. Number two, mix with calming oils at night um, or anytime and massage into the neck and shoulders for greater relaxation. I worked probably 12 hours just blending recipes and making this recipe page yesterday and so by the time it was family time to watch TV I snagged my Aroma Touch oil and had my husband put Aroma Touch all over my shoulders and neck with a little coconut oil. Coconut oil made it easier to spread about. Tip number three, apply a few drops to a cotton ball and wipe over makeup to remove naturally. Apply coconut oil to your feet mixed with lavender to soothe and soften the skin and get the calming benefits, and it helps with sleep. Tip number five, use as an after-shower moisturizer. Number six, give your car dashboard instant shine by applying to a rag and wiping gently. Number seven, rub on crayon marks, let soak for 10 minutes, and then clean with a cloth. I got a better one as long as it won't um, stain what you wrote it on. For example, I wouldn't do this on white paint or a painted wall, but for crayon marks, you can also use lemon oil. Lemon oil is gonna be way faster, but if you're worried about um, a stain, you can do the fractionated coconut oil. Again, if it's something painted, it might leave a stain. So I just had a good one for coconut oil. Oh, so um, I got a little, um, checklist at my doctor's office for my eyes when I was there. I have too many papers everywhere next to me to find it. Um, and they had a checklist for um, dry eye from the doctor's office. And the very first thing on um, their checklist to use for dry eye from my optometrist paper was um, coconut oil. So um, you can put... Um, I did not clear, here it is, I did not clarify with them what it was, but check this out. The top things listed for treatment for dry eye from Illinois Eye Center is coconut oil, a warm compress, omega-3s. So um, I have doubled and tripled my omegas from my lifelong vitality pack vitamins. And um, I am not having any trouble whatsoever with dry eye. I'm taking um, four to six of doTERRA's omegas a day. And um, I have only done the coconut oil in my eyes probably three times because, um, first of all, I didn't hear about that until the last couple months. And second of all, um, the omegas has really helped. And then I also have a roller that is lavender, myrrh, and sandalwood, 10 drops each in a five milliliter roller topped with, I um, can't remember if it's jojoba or fractionated coconut, but either one is good. All right, so let's go over some awesome recipes for citrus bloom. Citrus bloom, let me get to where I have them stored here. And I'll tell you what I did learn. One of my favorite oils, I posted this yesterday for you guys. One drop, one or two drops of blue tansy in any fruity recipe. So like citrus bloom and a drop or two of blue tansy. Uh, you can do that in your diffuser. You can do it in a roller. I wouldn't do it in a spray if you're going to spray it on your clothes because some of the blue might still be hanging about, but I would spray it on your body and then top that spray with coconut oil. 
So it only takes one or two drops. It's amazing. So um, citrus bloom and blue TNZ. Any, um, uh, it has a fruity like after scent. It's amazing. All right, let me get to citrus bloom. I had it up, but then I had to look at my phone to see if we were live. All right. We're going to go over cheer next, too. All right, grab your pen and paper. Here's some citrus bloom ones, folks. You ready? Citrus bloom and grapefruit, and you can diffuse. You do three to five drops total of your oils in a diffuser for every 100 milliliters. So, for example, I think the Lelouse diffuser that comes in the Aroma Essentials collection is 150 milliliters. So, you can do five to seven drops in there. All right. And then, of course, water, no coconut oil. So, citrus bloom and grapefruit. Citrus bloom and green mandarin. I'm excited about that one because I rarely use my green mandarin. I forget to use it. <clears throat> All right, citrus bloom and lime, citrus bloom, lime, and peppermint, citrus bloom and sandalwood. I'm excited to try that one. I see a lot of people blending citrus bloom with patchouli, citrus bloom and patchouli. Patchouli is one of my favorite oils from doTERRA and I forget to use it. All right, so citrus bloom and patchouli, or citrus bloom, patchouli, and cedar wood. All right, so for a diffuser, three to five drops total per 100 milliliters. Um, for a, say you wanna make a body spray, right? Get your doTERRA one ounce sprayer and um, do a total of, you can do anywhere from 10 to 50 drops, depending on how strong you like it, but 20 drops total on average is great. And then if um, you wanna make it stronger, you can add more. And top with water, if it's spraying in the air or on your clothes, and then top with fractionated coconut oil if you're doing a body spray. You could do coconut oil. If you want it more emollient, um, you could do avocado, almond, um, jojoba, quite a few different ones. And then for a roller, you can take any of these recipes and do 10 to 20 drops of each oil topped with fractionated coconut oil. So citrus bloom, patchouli, and cedar wood. Citrus bloom, whisper, and bergamot. I would love that one. Citrus bloom, lavender, and eucalyptus. Well, that's an interesting blend because I'm always putting lavender and eucalyptus together. It smells like a spa. I have a sprayer of that. I never thought to put citrus bloom with it. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to have a ton uh, more recipes for you for citrus bloom. Um, citrus bloom and balance. I think I've been using that forever, right? You already know my citrus bloom, adaptive, elevation, and whisper. You can do citrus bloom and adaptive, citrus bloom and elevation, citrus bloom and whisper, citrus bloom and balance. It's pretty awesome. Citrus bloom goes with just about everything. That's what's amazing. All right, let's check out citrus bloom and citrus bliss. Got a really good suggestion that I never would have thought of in a million years, and I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried it yet. Citrus bloom and basil. How cool is that? Citrus bloom and basil. Here's another favorite, citrus bloom and Air X. We're going to be um, recipe and graphic and making machines here for you coming up, so uh, stay tuned. We got a bunch. Um, citrus bloom, lime, and Siberian fir. Citrus bloom, lime, and Siberian fir can't wait. I right, can't wait to try some of these. All right, let's talk about cheer. So cheer, all I had ever blended cheer with was cheer and motivate, cheer and passion. I tried cheer and on guard yesterday. Did not love it. I stunk. I don't know why. So I don't recommend that one. 
Um, but let's read some more recipes for cheer so you know how you can use your cheer oil. Oh, this is a good one. Balance and cheer. Passion. Cheer, which I already said, but add cypress to it. Passion, cheer, and cypress. Grapefruit and cheer. Cheer, elevation, and blue tansy. Now, blue tansy, you can use a lot less, and I do recommend using a lot less. It's a pricier oil, and a little goes a long way. My number one favorite way to use um, blue tansy, I have two, I guess, but number one is to put a drop of blue tansy on my big toes, and it's very, very easy. I don't have an oil bottle in here today because I was running behind, but take your oil bottle. Don't drop it, or you're going to make a mess. I'm going to test my flexibility today. All right, so here's my toe, right? Feet are dirty from walking barefoot today, right? You're going to take your bottle, take your lid off your bottle, put it directly on the bottom of your foot really fast before any oil comes out, rub it, and move it right back. You're going to get less than a full drop. You're going to make less of a mess because it's really thin. It's like water, right? So if you sit here and do a drop, you're going to make a mess and run all over, right? So put that topper directly on your foot. Not going to hurt anything, right? Um, even if you got cooties on your foot, it's not going to hurt anything. Or you can do the thumb method, I like to call it, where you take your bottle, take the top off, put your thumb on it, back and forth, lift it up, you got some on your thumb, and rub it on your big toes. Either way works, right? But if you don't want to get it on your um, hands, put it directly on your toe, get a drop worth, and then rub your two big toes together. You don't even have to wash your hands. Another top way I like to use blue TNZ, I have an awesome roller that someone recommended for around my eyes, and it helps with seasonal threats, right, itchy eyes, and it helped with calming, um, the aches and discomforts in my eyes from the cataract surgery the, that did go well. And so it's a 10 milliliter roller with 10 drops, blue tansy, eucalyptus, peppermint, and spearmint tapped with fractionated coconut oil. And I roll it on my brow bone. At bedtime, I'll roll it all the way up to the um, puffy part of my under my eye my temples and over my eyebrow and go straight to bed. You definitely don't want to get that one in your eye with the peppermint, spearmint, eucalyptus. That would be painful. All right. Uh, cheer and elevation. Cheer and citrus bliss. Cheer and cinnamon is great for fall and winter blends. Cheer and cinnamon. My friend Jasmine recommends cheer and spearmint. I can't wait to try this one. Cheer and spearmint. A um, lot of votes for cheer and elevation and cheer and cinnamon. Right, cheer and wild orange. Cheer and citrus bloom. Cheer and citrus bliss. Citrus bloom, cheer and elevation. I think we said that one earlier, so that must be a good one. Cheer, spearmint, lime, and grapefruit. And my friend Jenna says it smells like Skittles. So cheer, elevation, and wild orange. Patchouli is popping up again. Cheer, elevation, and patchouli, or just cheer and patchouli. So patchouli is a winner of the day, whether you mix it with citrus bloom or cheer or both. Here's one that threw me, cheer and thyme oil. Thyme is great for cleaning the air right now and for um, supporting your respiratory system uh, during this health crisis. So thyme, even though it doesn't smell the best, is a great one to add to any diffuser blend, even if you just add a drop. But um, the beauty of cheer must overcome the um, scent of thyme. Thyme just smells very earthy, right, because it's an herb. All right, cheer, motivate. Elevation and forgive. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Cheer and purify. Smells like a fall open house. I never would have thought of that, Katie. Love that. Cheer and rosemary. Cheer and balance. Cheer, citrus bliss, and citrus bloom. All right, love those.
All right, so as usual, my number one go-to recipe for Northern Escape, if you haven't seen my videos yet, is Northern Escape Adaptive and Peppermint. It was an accident. I had beautiful blue bottles of oil on my dresser in Florida as decoration because my color for decorating, my accent color in there is blue. So I had Northern Escape, which is like a blue-gray a bottle, Adaptive, which is a bright blue bottle, and Peppermint, which is a mid-blue bottle. It looked really pretty next to my diffuser. And I had no intention of actually using them in that room. They were brand new unopened bottles. And I was having a day where I needed to focus and I needed to be a little more awake. So the adaptive helps me with focus. The peppermint helped wake me up. And I didn't know what the heck to do with Northern Escape yet. And I knew it was good for respiratory and that was it. So I thought, oh, why not, right? So I put all three in the diffuser together. Oh my goodness, it's the best scent ever. It's great for men. It's great for an earthy scent. You can make a men's cologne. You can make a spray for them. So grab your one ounce sprayer from doTERRA and put 10 drops or 20 drops of each, depending on how strong you like it. Some fractionated coconut oil. They can spray it right on and massage. Now, I hope we all know not to use cologne or perfumes, right, over the counter because they're filled with toxic chemicals and are damaging to your hormones. They're hormone disruptors. So please, please, please learn how to make a scent that appeals to you. I've honestly never found a blend other than Amavi from doTERRA. Amavi is one that they come out with once a year. I think we still have it available. Amavi, A-M-A-V-I. I've never been able to make my own blend for my husband that I really loved. And so now um, my husband's never worn cologne because he doesn't like it. He doesn't like when you meet someone and they smell like cologne. He was in the car business and a lot of car salesmen wear too much cologne. So he um, found it offensive. So he's never worn cologne. He probably still has the first bottle of Dracar I've ever bought him. And um, it's probably still full. And so I'm excited about making Adaptive Northern Escape and Peppermint for him for a cologne. You can make a roller bottle of it, 10 to 20 drops each, depending on how much how strong you like it, and top it off with the fractionated coconut oil. I used it in the diffuser. Amazing. Going to do that all the time. If you have the... Um, Barbie doll bathtub diffuser. Let's see if I can show you the one I'm talking about. So see that big honkin' diffuser? I think it's backwards right there. A lot of you got that off of Amazon um, before doTERRA came out with the Dawn diffuser. If you've got that one, you can put um, 10 drops of each of those in there, and that baby goes for days, especially this time of year when it's not as dry and when the furnace isn't running. If you have your Dawn diffuser, you can do the same thing, um, five to ten drops of each adaptive Northern Escape and Peppermint. Peppermint's in my coffee waking me up today. I've been using a lot more peppermint. All right. Um, we did Cheer and Citrus Bloom. I don't have um, recipes for you for Northern Escape, so I want to hear your recipes. Let's see how many people are sharing their recipes in the comments here. Want to hear your recipes, folks. All right. Hey, Diane. Hey, Jesse. Diane, the kit is available right now. The Aroma Essentials Collection is available in the U.S market right aroma essentials so you want to snag that right you get um the loose diffuser oh let's test if i can remember what all is in there i don't think there's any way that i can i'm gonna have to cheat and look at my sheet so i'm not going to pretend that i have it memorized yet right so what comes in the loose i'm sorry the aroma essentials collection you ready adaptive cheer northern escape on guard, serenity, balance, breathe, citrus bloom, peppermint, and wild orange. If you don't have your own account yet and you order and get started with the Aroma Essentials Collection that's extra discounted, all of our starter kits are extra discounted, you're going to get balance, 
breathe citrus bloom peppermint and wild orange all free in that kit right that kit is discounted um, so that those five of those ten oils they don't charge you for you're going to get your own account um, when you order that kit automatically and it'll come to you directly in the next seven to ten days do not go to doTERRA.com to order that. Please get with the wellness advocate from doTERRA that introduced you to this group or introduced you to doTERRA and have them help you uh, order that. They're going to help you order it and get you um, a, the better price and they're going to help you order it and um, then they also have some uh, welcome information and goodies for you probably, right? They probably have a Facebook group that they add you to. Maybe it was this one. Um, and they also will help you go through your oils and teach you how to use them, right? So very important that you only get your own account and only get your doTERRA through a wellness advocate that's going to help you afterwards. All right, so love it, love it, love it. What else we got going on? We have geranium on sale, and um, I am now obsessed with geranium. I was not until recently. In fact, I think I still had my first bottle of geranium for the last seven years until recently. I just ordered more. One, because it's on sale. I believe it's 15% off. And two, I still haven't figured out how or why 100%. It's helped my eyes tremendously. I had cataract surgery in October, November. My two eyes never worked together until about two weeks ago when I accidentally got geranium in my eye. Don't do that, by the way. Now it gets dabbed around my eye. Um, I got geranium in my eye, and within five minutes, my um, right eye started communicating and working with my left eye. My right eye is very damaged. It got all the drops from the cataract surgery, and they were very toxic to me. Um, my left eye got hardly any because we figured it out by then, um, but too late for my right eye. So my right eye, geranium has been very helpful for aches and discomforts, for calming, soothing, and helping it um, be able to do what it needs to do to get back to hopefully normal. So geranium, geranium, geranium. We also put about eight drops, six to eight drops of geranium in our hot tub before we get in because it's great for our skin and our hair. We don't use any chemicals in our hot tub. We haven't for about four years. And uh, we use geranium before we get in made my son super chatty and open for communication. So if you're looking to communicate with a child or a teenager, I highly recommend diffusing, applying, or getting geranium in your life. We got in the hot tub um, with the geranium in it. And my 16 year old, who um, is very busy and not chatty, um, talked to me for three hours the next and I didn't dare get out of that hot tub and miss that beautiful opportunity to bond with my son and hear what he had to say and um, so we were very much pruny um, and it was worth every second so there has to be some benefits to geranium and um, communication so love 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 the geranium it's also good for hormone balancing and um, <laughs> Someone typoed, Diane, you're going to get a, a kick out of this. Um, she said, hi, just pooping on. I thought someone was making a, a question about pooping. So she meant popping on, of course. But um, love, love, love Facebook and these phones for autocorrect incorrectly lately. Anyone else notice with their iPhone that the autocorrect is out of control? I typed like, some normal word like interaction last night and it changed it to the word substitute. Like it's completely changing words that are not even remotely close. So I need a little bit more um, calming oil in my life so I don't throw these phones out the window. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up. I'm not seeing tons of questions today, so that's good. It means we're doing a um, good job on keeping you educated. Um, Ooh, I love Diane's comment. She's planting an organic veggie garden. Any ideas on oils to keep bugs and mice away? So great question. I'm going to hop over to my gardening uh, make and take on my website, and let's take a peek at that. Plus, Diane, did you know that you can put like 10 drops of DDR Prime in a giant spray bottle with water and spray that into the soil? And um, it's great for uh, keeping your plants healthy. In fact, you can even have plants that are like dead and they literally come back to life. Isn't that amazing? 
So DDR prime in your garden, All right? Let's see what else we got on here. And I'll read you some tips. Ready for gardening tips? Pest protection and pollen attractors. If you want to attract butterflies, you can um, spray or diffuse outside um, fennel, helichrysum, or lavender. So get like a giant plastic spray bottle, like those 20 or 22 ounce ones you can get at those dollar stores and put like 10 to um, 20 drops of those oils in there. You can just do like 20 drops lavender and spray lavender around or fennel. If you want to attract bees, you can use basil, helichrysum, lavender, marjoram, rosemary, and wild orange. Right, so for mice, mice hate peppermint. Mice, moths, plant lice, spiders, ants, aphids, beetles, fleas, they all hate peppermint. So do like 20 drops in a big spray bottle with water and spray that around. Love it, love it, love it. And then you're going to be sore later after gardening. Make sure you use your deep blue rub and um, take your lifelong vitality pack vitamins for better recovery. And um, make sure you use, what else is good, guys, for being achy after that gardening? Aroma Touch is my go-to. Basil. Basil became a top favorite oil. I think I had my first bottle of basil still after seven years until I had my cataract surgery. And then basil has gone around my eyes probably every single day for the last almost seven months. So basil on uh, my cheekbones because I had um, aches and discomforts in my sinuses and um, from nerve issues and um, so basil has literally gone all over my face from up here to down here for seven months um, it's amazing if something hurts folks go grab your basil and slap some basil on it right if something hurts slap some basil on it um, peppermint basil and frankincense is great for um, achy hands and joints can put it on your knees so that's peppermint frankincense and basil right this is great for achies right all right i think we'll wrap up um let me give you a couple more tips because this is easy ready so tips for i've given you tips on diffusers tips on sprays and tips on rollers let's talk about tips for bath salts and scrubs these make great gifts, and we had a genius idea from someone recently. They were like, what do you do? They, we all love to recycle, all right, and repurpose and reuse all of it. We use a lot of oils. We use a lot of supplements. How can we repurpose and repackage all those supplement bottles for that lifelong vitality pack? Well, I um, figured it out. Someone else had the same idea at the same time, Miss Pam. Peel the label off. My labels came off easy peasy. I didn't even have to use lemon oil to get the sticky stuff off. Those bottles are beautiful. They're brown and shiny and gorgeous. And peel that off, fill them with Epsom salts and 10 drops of your favorite essential oil blend. Shake it, put the lid on of course, shake it and wrap a ribbon around it and give them as gifts. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to remember to do one today for you guys. Um, I found a roll of ribbon, and um, I'm gonna put some ribbon around it. Um, of course, we had a garage sale, so my husband probably sold it. I was in the house with a friend of mine, uh, my cousin, chatting, and all of a sudden I looked out my front window, and my plants, my trees, small um, evergreen trees, that were in our um, game room, family room, um, that were not for sale, um, were being loaded into someone's vehicle, and I said, "Oh my gosh, Renee." Um, Someone has my trees from my game room. So I might not be able to find my ribbon because my husband might have sold that too. If it wasn't bolted to the ground, he sold everything last week. So um, I'll make some bath salts with my LLV bottles and the ribbon, and you can check it out. Super, super cute way to reuse all those lifelong Vitality Pack bottles. So great gifts. Um, that'd be a great idea if you um, do doTERRA for a business and you like to have get-togethers with your customers. 
we have monthly workshops. Um, we did until 15 months ago, but we get to start them up again. If you're on my team, we have monthly workshop June 26th and July 17th at Eureka Christian Church from 10 a.m. to 12. Bring all your oils, your books, your supplies, and we make stuff and we have fun. Bring your lifelong vitality pack bottles if you have some that you don't want to use and you haven't recycled them. Even if you don't want to make anything, please bring them and donate them. I'd love to make some bath salts to give away to gifts, take to Heart House, Women's Shelter, um, and just hand out for fun. Be an easy and an inexpensive way to share my oils with others and um, reuse those lifelong vitality pack bottles. So the brown shiny bottles look beautiful when that label comes off. So can't wait to come up with more recipes for that. All right, body scrubs. Don't do your body scrub in that bottle. You need a shallow, flat container, right? So for bath salts, about one cup, you're going to use 10 drops of oil. For body scrubs, I have a trick. I've learned the hard way, folks. I've made many a body scrub. You can get the little jelly jars from any Walmart or um, any place like that, the little jelly jars that are four ounce and add the ingredients for a body scrub in this order. Are you ready? One eighth of a cup of coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, liquid coconut oil, one eighth cup, put that in the jar first. Then you put your 10 drops of essential oils. You can do a single oil, you can do a blend, citrus bloom and elevation, citrus bloom and adaptive, citrus bloom and balance, you can do any of those. So 10 drops total in that eighth of a cup, then pour a quarter cup of sugar in slowly. The reason you do this in this order, you want that coconut oil in there first, then the essential oil so it gets dispersed throughout, right? You can even swirl your jar with your coconut oil and your oils. Then put your sugar in slowly, and that then distributes the essential oil through all of the sugar. If you put the oils on the top at the end, it's just going to go in one place of the sugar, right? So it's not as effective. You pour that sugar in until you have a white powdery finish on top. Let it sit for a little bit. It'll keep soaking up, soaking up, soaking up, and you pour that till you have a white powdery finish on top, all right? You don't even have to mix it then. See, no mixing mess. Trust me on that one. Put your lid on, give it as a gift. You can recycle doTERRA's body butter container. You can recycle the scrub container. You can recycle the hydrating cream container. All of those are great um, for scrub recycling. You would just adjust the amount of oil for the size of the container. That recipe was for a four ounce. All right, so tips and tricks. Go make some recipes. Go make some scrubs, salt, sprays. Diffuse your oils, make some rollers, but um, as soon as you get a chance, order the Aroma Essentials Collection so you can get your hands on that citrus bloom and Northern Escape because you can't get them any other way. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week right here uh, live at noon Central Standard Time, Yay Oils Public Education. I'm Lisa Zimmer, and happy oiling. Have a great day. Bye.